Listen, a lot of y'all wonder why we go so fucking hard in the paint and in like being hard on black men, particularly the black women, those of us who have made it our business to talk about it way more often. And it's times like this where it's like, this is why. Like, we can't even get through a period of mourning for a for the the murder of a prominent figure in hip hop this week without another black male rapper making light of the trauma of another of another black woman of a black woman unprovoked we are again we're, we're sick and tired of acting like before the world and like white people get as black women before the world and white people get to us as far as causing trauma we experience it within our own culture and y'all are the fucking ring leaders of that shit and we're fucking sick and tired of it it's very concerning that whenever a black woman experiences some trauma like that where you would be where 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 a white woman or a black man would be believed and and poss- and possibly coddled or be like oh it's okay for some reason for when it happens to us it's funny or it's like uh what what did she do to deserve it uh she was popping off at the mouth um well i'm sure we don't have know all the details of the story she got shot period she fucking got shot. We can't get a fucking moment's rest from within our own culture. And it's fucking ridiculous. And it's one of the reasons why for so many years we've shut the fuck up about it. Because we've been guilted by the thought of like not wanting white people in our fucking business, right? And having them have one more thing to talk about regarding us that that they can use to devalue us as people and make us as a community less worthy of help and less worthy of being fucking listened to. We shut up for a long fucking time, but we're fucking sick and tired of it because we realize that you guys don't have our backs, even though we're expected to have yours 24-7, no matter what. We're expected to be pressured to marry you guys, no matter how you treat us as a whole, as a group within the culture we've been we're (laughs) we're just fucking sick and tired of it okay like and then and then the black men that are supportive and are emotionally available y'all bully them to like (laughs) that you fucking violently bully them call them simps call them softs call them betas call them all this and all that trying to emasculate and delegitimize the fucking any any man that's going to stray away from that toxic way of being that has become a cancer in our fucking community you don't have our fucking backs And we don't speak out because we're afraid of the added trauma that's going to come with being made fun of for our trauma. I do believe that Meg didn't even press charges when she got shot. And I'm not going to speak on behalf of another woman that I don't even personally know. But I imagine that going through the added trauma of having to go through little litigation on top of not being fucking believed and being made fun of when you're shot can you like i can't even i can't even imagine like it doesn't even get more material than that you know what i mean like <laughs> like I'll, like i get i get scared of being judged for mental health issues disorders that are fucking invisible you know, this this is a woman who got shot and is still being ridiculed, still being still being made fun of. Like regardless of the circumstances surrounding it, she got shot. And unprovoked, uh, like 
un, un, unprovoked for, for no reason, for absolutely no reason, during a time that's, you know, very sensitive in which a black male artist was shot, was a victim of gun violence in this past fucking week. Another black man makes it his fucking business for some reason to drag the suffering of a black woman who has suffered from gun violence in, in, into his art. This shit is why, like, a lot of us are just not going to let y'all get away with it anymore. We're going to stay on your fucking ass because somebody has got to. Like, you guys have remained unchecked within our community for very, very fucking long. Very, very long. And as long as things like this keep happening in the public eye and just in everyday life, like, I think it's safe to say that from a lot of us, you're just not going to get a moment to fucking rest. We're holding you the fuck accountable. Okay. We are sick of it. We deserve so much fucking better than what our culture and our community allows us to have. And we're supposed to just sit here and accept this bullying. We're just supposed to sit back and take the fucking beating, to take the emotional beating. Like we've been expected to emotionally, physically, mentally, we're just expected to sit there and take the beating with grace and not run off at the mouth and just shut the fuck up and just let y'all just continue to run amok and to just use us and exploit us, to use us as punching bags, to make us into jokes. From the fucking, just from the, from the earliest years as black women, we have been subjected to your fucking cruelty and your fucking gaze. We've been told, you know, some of us have either been either, you know, fetishized or, or just made, just discarded you know, based on your colorism and the way that we fucking look. We've been reduced to items. We've been reduced to material possessions from youth. Let's not, we're not, we're just not going to act like that's not a fucking thing that has been happening since we were kids. We, this is shit that we've had to grow up and deal with and then unpack when we become adults, maybe. And there's a whole bunch of black women that have not unpacked that. And we'll continue to go along with this very toxic way of thinking. But some of us have just fucking had enough. Some of us have had enough. And we're just not going to let you guys have a moment's rest about it. And at the best, we know that some of you guys have our best interests at mind. And you're going to listen and you're going to call out your bros. We know you're out there. But your, but your group as a whole will just not leave us alone. You just will not leave us alone. You'll never, you guys, like, it feels like as a group, you guys will never miss an opportunity, even when there is not even, there's no even avenue for the opportunity to be, to be taken. It will be created like this shit. Like, you will not miss an opportunity to let us know how devalued we are. Like you will not miss an opportunity to take us down a peg when we weren't even in the conversation. You will not miss an opportunity to drag us for no reason and to delegitimize our trauma. Even when it's literally unmistakable, physical, violent trauma, like getting shot. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? And at the very best, when we do speak out, some of you got just give a, well, that sucks anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, good luck with that. Yeah. Sick of it. We're just sick of it. That's not going to fly anymore. And things like this, incidents like this, are why you're not going to stop hearing from me about it. And there's a whole bunch of other black women who have made it the business to talk about this that you're not going to stop hearing from them either. And the thing is, like, this problem is not going to get fixed overnight. It's probably not even going to get fixed in our lifetime because there are years and years of conditioning and, like, plantation psychology that plays into why this continues to happen. And so this is not going to be fixed even by the time, like, by the time I grow old and die. So that means that as long as we are alive, you're just going to keep on hearing about it. <laughs> you're going to keep on hearing about it. 
and you in you can either get mad or you can wise up and please fucking do something about it oh and by the way you shouldn't have to be a father or a husband to care about the plight of black femme people like you shouldn't have to have proximity to a black femme person to care if they're being treated with dignity or not like i don't want to really hear that i'm a husband i'm a father i'm a this i'm a that you really should not have to have proximity to a black femme person for you to care about their fucking well-being you should not it's called empathy and it's troubling that you have to have that level of proximity it seems to like just men and sometimes men in general but in this specific instance it's it's troubling that it seems like you have to have that level of proximity to have to us to have any empathy for us specifically whereas a whole bunch of other problematic black men out there running their mouth about shit <laughs> being anti-semitic and shit and some of y'all are like, well, I can get, I can see where he's coming from. The fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't, no, but like, but no, but like, listen, are you serious? No, shut up. Ugh.